to it. I want to go to another issue now that uh, has sparked quite a bit of debate around the country, and understand, understandably so. We've seen that horrible murder during the week of Marja Vukatic, a 17-year-old girl walking in the suburbs of Melbourne, in daylight, mind you, who was stabbed to death. Just a terrible crime, and I think we all, we all feel that around the country. But um, there has been a reaction to the way the police dealt with that, and a policeman by the name of uh, Detective Inspector Michael Hughes, giving his press conference yesterday in Melbourne, gave some advice to Melbournians and people who are worried about their safety. Have a look at the advice, and we'll talk about uh, what we think of that. You need to be aware of your circumstances. Um, we encourage people to walk together, um, uh, females to walk together. Um, but if you're by yourself, you just need to be aware of your circumstances, take reasonable precautions. I think it's a travesty that we have to do that. We should be able to walk anywhere at any time. But reality says we can't. You know, I feel for Defect Detective Inspector Michael Hughes there, Christine, uh, uh, because he was trying to pass on practical advice that he thought was useful. But understandably, a lot of people around the country, especially women, are saying, what? You're saying we can't walk alone in the streets of this nation? That, that is a failure. Don't blame the women. Yeah, that's Fix right. the problem. Absol and absolutely. I'm, I'm always loathe to criticise our police because I, you know, I think they do such a fabulous job um, and in, under very difficult circumstances. But I guess that has been read as a message that's saying that somehow the woman has been at fault. Um, you know, and some, somehow women have to protect themselves by not getting out and about. And my response to that is that, uh, you know, it's never the victim's fault. Uh, this is a poor girl who's had a dreadful crime perpetrated upon her. She's an innocent victim. And our response as a community should be to blame the perpetrator and also to say, look, we need to go about our ordinary lives and hope hope that these are just isolated incidents. And that's, the way, that's the way the world should be, though. but we've got to be practical, don't we, Sherry? And uh, we, we all say, don't blame the victim. You never would blame the victim. But I, I bet you, your dad, your mum, your boyfriend says, you know, don't walk home from the bus, bus stop late at night on your own. I mean, it's, that's what people say. Look, when, this, when he made those remarks at the press conference, I instantly was furious and was expressing outrage in the office because he made some other very ridiculous comments, like, if you live alone... Um, put on your voice message, um, you know, a male's voice and, and use the words we. I mean, that's so ludicrous because no one bloody well has landlines anymore anyway, you know, to get a man to leave a voice yeah, message. Point on number your own. one. Who's, but who's got I was the... so angry at, at this sentiment, which is exactly what, you know, Christine just expressed. But then, um, because I sit in the business section of The Australian, surrounded by male journalists, they all said, oh, well, that's just practical advice. You know, why would you walk anywhere on your own? Uh, you know, I sometimes go jogging at night by myself. Why would you go jogging at 10 o'clock at night by yourself in any case. But we sh this is Australia and the problem is the laws are so weak that you have, and sentences are, are so soft that you have all these repeat offenders out on the streets. And, and it looks like this man, along with Jill Mars, Killer and others, are repeat offenders time and time and time and time again. They should be locked up. That's where we need to um, strengthen the laws, not telling women to have a man by their side at all times. How ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's why I wanted to bring this up, because, uh, you know, I agree with you. When I saw the interview going live on Sky News, I, I winced uh, again. We know the good intentions behind the comments, but surely we've got to tighten up bail laws, uh, uh, policing. There's all sorts of other aspects we need to do, Jack, to make the place safe, not in this country be telling women that they can't walk the streets on their own. Yeah, I guess that's it. The real question is why... Uh, if you're a city, city councillor, you'd have to be on to these issues uh, uh, all the time. And this, this, is the, this is what it comes down to. Should, should we... Uh, like Sherry, uh, I, mean, I, I, think I, I, mean, I think I agree with this, be angry at a police officer, a senior police officer in the end, saying that sort of thing. I mean, it's not, it's not the attitude we should have. No. We should be Going about getting our daily rid of the lives. problem so that we can go about our daily lives, not warning people to shelter or travel in packs. Yeah, that's right. I completely agree with you. And, and, and we have to address a whole range of issues here. There's, there's the domestic violence issue uh, against women. There's random violence against, uh, against people in the streets. And that is a policing issue at the end of the day. It's not something that we as Australians should be trying to adjust our lifestyle to accommodate. Uh, we should be saying, hang on, we've got a problem. Let's get it dealt with where it should be dealt with, which is in the, by the police and the, by the judiciary. Is it getting worse, Sherry? Uh, is this ISIS epidemic leading to more random acts of violence? Is that... Is, is well, that 
if you speak to experts um, and you know the people who work in emergency departments at, at St Vincent's Hospital, so maybe this is a Sydney issue. I'm not sure how strong, how bad it is in in Brisbane well, or in Melbourne. Well, there's a lot of a lot of ice problems in regional centres regional, and yeah. in regional areas. That's true. But if you speak to the emergency uh, workers and the doctors, they say ice is a huge issue. It is a problem, as Christine says, and it's in her electorate, and it does make uh, people erratic and violent, and um, often, you know, the people who are attack not just women but men in King's Cross and in inner city areas, they are under the influence of either alcohol or ice. I think, I think the panel's in agreement here, it's up to all of us, law enforcement officials, politicians, citizens, to make sure people can walk our streets, not to tell people that they have to get together in a group to go for a walk in our city suburbs. After